anything, you let me know. Okay. Three seconds. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna continue. Uh, so the impact in e-commerce will be the users can explore virtual showrooms, uh, and they can be as close to a physical store. For example, uh, when you want to design your home, you can see how it will be, and also customers can virtually visualize products. How will they look like before they, they purchase it? Like it will be something like, like before try they, it before, yes? Uh -huh. Before they purchase it, before they purchase it. Before they purchase it. There you go. The, so it will be something like try before you buy it. And it can also uh, get, con consumers a new reason to be to visit your store because people um, still prefer visiting physical stores okay I finish three and four okay. seconds mm -hmm. it was okay nice you still have a, uh, like three more minutes try to keep on practicing great job I like what I heard okay Abner uh, Hello. How are you doing, girls? We are waiting. Oh, you're waiting. Oh. Yes. <laughs> How many times did you practice? Twice. So two times. OK. Do you think that you're ready to do it without mistakes? No. <laughs> okay, so. We're Maybe. We will always have mistakes. So deep. I think that that's yeah. something that Paolo Coelho would say. Wow, you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on, practice it one more time. And practice makes perfect. Okay. But if you're going to talk about Paolo Coelho, about life, then do it in English. No, Paolo Coelho, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who is Paolo Coelho? It's a writer, but, but he's oh. rich. Yes, we are having so finished. finished. <laughs> keep it simple, guys. Come on, keep it simple. One or two examples. Yeah. He's yeah, we're, we're, we're working like this. <clears throat> Can you see it? Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. We got uh, the definition. Hmm? Present uses. And I'm, we are looking for the images to explain the, the present uses. Okay. And we are trying to get the the future and the impact on the e-commerce. We are not going to finish at a time. Remember, this, guys, is not something that, you, that a job depends on. Give your opinion. As long as yes. you do it in English. Okay? Don't, don't put it in. Don't select the images. Just, I guess, just finish what you have there. Teacher, no, try how to do you say gastritis? Uh, gastritis. No, gastritis. Yeah, how do you... Gastritis. 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 Okay. Using a joke. Ah, gastritis. A little bit softer. Gastritis. 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 Uh -huh. right. You finished, girls? Uh, we guessed. Yeah. <laughs> we guessed. So, oh, you can say, like, instead of saying we guess, you can say we hope so. We also we hope. hope. H O P. Hope. We hope so. Hope so. We hope so. We hope so. Que sí. We hope so. <laughs> we hope so. We hope so. All right. See you in the main room. Okay. okay. <laughs>
Alrighty, guys. So it is nine. Let's go ahead and take uh, attendance real quick. You know, the second of the night. One moment, please. So let's make it happen. Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera, not present. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Present. Present, I see you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba, not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. I see you, sir. Thank you. Gladys Idalia Melendez Hernández. Present. Thank you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Present. There you are. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Thank you, sir. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Thank you. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Por motivos de auditoría, Amy mencionó que se sentía mal de salud y se tuvo que retirar, pero estuvo al principio. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Present. I see you. Roxana Metilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you, sir. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Vea. Not present. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. Thank you, sir. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Thank you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. I see you. Sede Carmina Pineda Avalos. Present. Thank you. Eh, well, no, no, I got two. Karen Eileen Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you, Karen. And last but not least, Sara Beatriz Ruiz Ortiz. Sara Elizabeth. <laughs> ah, ya la bauticé. Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. All right, guys. So, solo nos falta una attendance at 9.45. Now, um, time to start... <laughs> Time to start with the presentations, okay? Before we do that, quick reminders. A las nueve le voy a dar hora del boletín, bulletin time. So, mañana a las nueve, después de la attendance, vamos a hacer la encuesta. Así que todos vamos a, necesito que se metan al link. A ver, no toquen nada, solo metanse a ver si le funciona. Cualquier cosa, pues, este, lo pueden reportar y tenemos tiempo. Vean que su información es la que es. Okay. Bueno, si está ahí es porque era la que era, pero solo por si acaso vamos a tratar de prevenir. How do you say prevenir in English? Prevent. Prevent. Ok. Prever. Preview. Feedback. Feedback. For C. For C. For C. For C. You see, guys, no importa. Si yo les hablo en español, siempre me gusta que traten de aprender algo. Por lo menos yo se los doy allá a ustedes si lo anotan o si simplemente es, les pasa por el por, por encima. Ok. Alrighty. So that's it. Mañana es la última clase. Espero que todos estén bien. Lista siempre 8, 9 y 9.45. Um, el examen. He visto comentarios. Ahí no tuve tiempo de responder ahora, pero he visto comentarios de si ya podemos hacer el examen. Démosle. Démosle. ¿Por qué? Porque el día sábado yo tengo que mandar las notas. Entonces, empiecen ahorita, si ustedes tienen, es más, si ustedes quieren, me quedo, me quedo después unos 20 minutos, pero siempre digo, me voy a quedar 20 minutos y todos se van a dormir, lo cual entiendo, están cansados, pero voy a estar 20 minutos disponible hasta las 10 y media, por si ustedes lo quieren hacer ahorita, tienen alguna pregunta, yo estoy ahí para ayudarles, ¿ok? Así el sábado, traten de hacerlo sábado 3, 4 de la tarde, para yo poder subir notas, y ustedes poder terminar ya, se quedan tranquilos su fin de semana y cerramos módulo con las notas, su asistencia y el este. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer mañana a las 9? Yeah. The evaluation. The evaluation, that's right. That's right. Okay, guys, so let's get it ready. I'm going to have the timer ready and I have the first group. Again, this is what the system is doing. No preferences. I don't hate anybody. But you are group number one. That's it. Ernesto, Karen, and Roxana. Really? We are the first one? Yes. Why? Okay. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
we are going to talk about 3D, 3D printing. The 3D printing is an um, additive manufacturing process that creates a physical object. The printing uh, could be from different materials like plastic, metal, paper, wool. Uh, the 3D printings, there are objects that are 3-dimensional. So Roxana is going to talk about the uses in the present. Thank you, Karen. The uses in the, in the present for the, three, the 3D printers are not personal. Today, a scenario 3D printers is used in manufacturing medical devices, construction, spaces, space exploration, and some other sectors. The food industry is developing techniques to create 3D objects that we can eat. I don't know how they want to do that, but they are trying. Maybe we're going to eat plastic, I don't know. The fashion industry is also interested in the technology. Fashion designers are currently experimenting with 3D printers to make dresses, shoes, etc. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to talk about the uses of 3D printing in the future. Uh, one of the first uses will be uh, the fabric uh, fabrication or production of 3D parts. Manufacturing. For aviation, manufacturing of parts for airplanes and the aeronautical industry because they are light, considerably lighter than the, than the older ways of manufacturing these parts. Also, there will be an impact in the art industry since there, most of the artists will be able to use these 3D printers to create a tremendous and amazing uh, Art. And also, I'm going to talk about the impact of 3D printing in e-commerce. Uh, 3D printing in is creating a market designs that are meant to be printed by the buyer. As example, Amazon has created a base where you can design your own your own uh, shirt and then print it and then get it online. That is all. Okay. Thank you very much. Round of applause, guys. Thank you very much. Nice, good timing, uh, clear presentation. I like the presentation, very technical, very savvy. So awesome, nice, nice research. Couple of recommendations, guys. I think that you've done a great job with the pronunciation. However, you can always improve it, okay? I would recommend you for you to play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Try to sound exactly the same. Are we talking about music? Maybe. Parts of movies? Maybe. Vaya usted a saber. But you have to work with something you like and the vocabulary you're going to use. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Practice makes perfect. I have a 75-year-old student. Her name is Virginia. Uh, she's one of my private, uh, my private classes. And... Uh, you have no idea how much she has improved her pronunciation in the past couple of months tremendously. Okay. So if she could do it and she knows we've talked about this age is important. If she could do it, you can definitely do it. You just have to have the desire, the willingness and the effort. All right. Great job. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Then we go with Abner, Daniel and Gladys rocket three minutes, set your timers. And let me know when you're ready so we can start. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about virtual reality. Uh, refers, virtual reality refers to the computer generated simulation by which a person can interact with, um, with an artificial three dimensional environment using a special electronic device. Sometimes uh, the people use special glasses with a screen or maybe a glove with, with sensors. And nowadays, uh, virtual reality is using 
uh, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, the most common, maybe the movie theater, movie theaters. Uh, on the other hand, is using um, for the new students of medicine to practicing uh, surgeries. Uh, maybe is using uh, engineering to create new projects. For example, in architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, only that. Okay. Okay. I'll talk about uh, the future of virtual reality. Virtual reality. Virtual reality, reality. Virtual reality is mm -hmm. one of the technologies with the highest projective potential for growth. Uh, the big technology companies are already working to develop platform that Deal. do not need do not need cables and that allow image image to image. be seen, image to, to be seen in HD. Uh, <clears throat> all this means that virtual reality is not longer science fiction. Science fiction. It no. is integrated into our present and in the coming years it will lead to advances that will shape the future. Finish. Okay. okay. Um, the, the impact of virtual reality in commerce is that users can explore virtual showrooms and they can be as close to a physical store. So for example, uh, you can visualize your project and people can actually visualize how their home will be in the design. And also customers can virtually visualize products. How will they look like before they purchase it? Like it will be something like try it before you buy. It. And it can also give consumers a new reason to visit your store. Because nowadays people still prefer to uh, visit on physical stores than uh, online stores. Perfect timing. Three minutes exactly. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, guys, um, I liked it. I liked it. Um, I like the fact that some of you in, in this group thing, I'm not talking about people in particular, but I like the fact that you are trying with the pronunciation. You're trying with English, and that's the right way to go. Okay? Thank you for that. Any questions, any comment about this topic? About their presentation? Okay. It was a great presentation. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. I like it. I like it too. So next one, Andrea, Andrea, Celia, and Marcela. Go for it. Okay, so good evening. We're going to talk about 3D body scanners. Uh, this is a technology that produces a 3D model through scanning. An individual stands in front of the <coughs> scanner's view while the scanner captures his body image and start producing 3D, 3D images instantly. These scanners use light sensors to produce a 3D image and images are captured in 360 degrees in a short period of time, along with body measurements and human body surface. Now to continue with the uses in present, uh, we found that this technology has regularly been applied in the areas of adapted performance sportswear. This is related with a sport clothing design, also garment and 3D printed figurines. Mm -hmm. This is related with uh, design a small three-dimensional sculpture uh, that represent humans or 3D selfies. Then we have 3D morphomet morphometric evaluation, and this is related to analysis for weight loss purposes, mm -hmm. uh, ergonomic body measurement, and also apparel design. And this is design products in different contexts and also clothing design, but not specifically for sports. Mm -hmm. 
And body shape classification is uh, the use in a complex but sophisticated digital function and changes about the body and shapes. So about the applications in future, uh, we found that as these technologies are still developing in its application, maybe in future the use will, the use will be the same, but uh, in a more innovative way. Okay. Then um, the impact of these body scans in e-commerce are that um, the most common reason for people to return um, the clothing that they bought that they buy online is the wrong sizes or that the clothes didn't fit well in the person. So uh, these body scans can help to avoid that because with that um, people can be more sure about the size that they want or the size that they that can fit in their bodies okay nice nice two minutes 30 very acceptable great job okay great 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 job um the only thing that i would tell you with help permitame Okay, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Kids and dogs sometimes are not a good combination. Ah, I got scared. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, sorry, let's go ahead and continue. Um, what I was gonna tell you is that help, you don't need to. So help grow is gonna help someone grow, but you need the object. Is gonna help my mother uh, cook. Is gonna help me learn English. There's no two in between. Okay. So thank you. I like the presentation. Let now let's go ahead and work with uh, Aldo, Eric, and Juan Carlos. Okay. Good evening. We have to talk with self serve kiosks, and uh, for that. We just made this. Self service kiosk. The definition that we found this is that it's a terminal that integrates hardware and software to create an interactive environment such as, such as product display for sale and information display for multimedia. Mm -hmm videos, photos, articles, and music. Also, it reduces er errors and customers complete their transactions more quickly. The present uses that we found is they are using um, healthcare for mm -hmm. checkup in for appointments, pay for prescriptions, government. Citizens can print government ID cards directly from the kiosk, mm -hmm. corporate, visitor registration facility, facility for staff uh, to update with details of, for HR purposes, industrial, digital job cards, recording task data, reporting issues and project reports, banking, deposits and withdrawal machines are considered forms of self-service chaos, the ATMs that we know. And in the airports, you can identify yourself with your ID pa or password, confirm your flight information, review your seat assignment, indicate your check bags, and print your boarding passes like this. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now, please, uh, JC. Okay. Uh, the impact the e-commerce products are is the uh, many device now have a, a software of or insufficient software. Mm -hmm. uh, we we this, this device to change the the more efficient uh, devices, for example, uh, to to the restaurant. Uh, the hardware is continued development. The hardware uh, are in development. The, har the hardware are development. 
and a digital, digital, um, digital communication between different devices, for example, in the, in the 3D printer, in the 3D printer, in the, the machine to pay food, pay anything. Okay, it's a, a, a impact in different industry. Okay, time. So I still have, I think Eric is missing, right? Yep. Just, I I'm just want to say something. Uh, I'm going to talk about the main impact of e-commerce in the future is that uh, customers will have the opportunity to order exactly what they want. That is the main impact of e-commerce in the future. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was going to be longer. All right, thank you no, very much. Just three minutes. <laughs> yeah, three minutes. All righty, guys. So um, thank you very much. Like I said, you were not able to finish, but um, I appreciate the effort. Now, how is this going to be fixed? I don't know. Perhaps the topic was a little bit, I have to admit, the topic was a little bit more complicated for you than others. So no worries about it. You've done your best. And uh, last but not least, Alison Morena and Sarah Elizabeth, Rocket. You got three minutes. Go. Okay. Good evening. Our topic is augmented reality. The augmented reality, or ER, it's an experience where designers enhance parts of user physical world with computer-generated input. So designers create inputs ranging from sound to video to graphics, to GPS overlays, and more in digital content, which responds in real time to change in the user's environment, typically movement. The uses in the present for the ER are, for example, the marketing departments that have already begun to adapt uh, the ER technology to campaigns aimed at tech-savvy consumers, Savvy. Also, uh, savvy customers. Thank you. And also, we have manufacturers that provide us the ER view of the accessories to see how the product uh, looks. It's also used in mobile apps and games to get the inspiring effect. And also, uh, Google Translate use the ER in the way that you can put the cell phone's camera mm -hmm. into a sign, a page, or a screen with the foreign language or alphabet, and this will traduce you or translate you. Translate for you. Are... Sorry? It will translate for you. You got one minute, 15 seconds. Left. Okay. No, okay, about the uses in the future, about augmented, augmented reality, uh, we found three important points. <laughs> the first one is the, um, the augmented information. We could be in real time seeing another people and get access to the profile. The second one is object holograms. We could see in virtual objects and uh, that are that are within environment. And the, the third one, uh, it's person holograms. It could be possible when we can interact with another people holograms. Okay, Next. 30 seconds. Okay, the impact of, okay, I'm going to be fast. The impact of ER in this day is just to uh, big commerce uh, big e-commerce because uh, the small commerce, the small e-commerce has a low budget. Uh, therefore, until this year is not so striking. It will be needed more time and new software that is simpler than, and that is so, is not so demanding on the qualities of designers and creators, so that it becomes more accessible in the develop, development development of personal how do you say development development of personal imper, impersonation and this finally create a virtual reality okay nice three minutes 30 not bad at all 
Round of applause, guys, to everyone. Round of applause to everyone. Now, um, a couple of things that I have identified, guys, is that we have to work with a third person. Okay, third person is one of the things that create most issues among students around the world, not just you. So what is third person, guys? He, she, it. He, she, it. What happens to the verb in, in affirmative Sorry. sentences? We add S. You, S or ES. You add, you add S or ES, depend. S, ES, or IES. Okay. okay? Yes. What happens in the negative? Do we change the verb? No. Um, Why? No. Because, because of the, the mother, mother. Because, because, the auxiliary. because the auxiliary mm -hmm, already has the S, right? And what about the question? Do we change the verb? No. 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 We are using the auxiliary. Exactly. So I know you know, so just make sure you practice on that. Something else that I, that I am uh, identifying <laughs> is the uses, the, the subject verb agreement. What does this mean? That, for example, if you have I, you're gonna use am, um, right? Let's pretend that is the verb to be. You are, uh, exactly. My brothers have, if we, if, we, if we wanna use have, right? My brothers have instead of my brother has. So that interaction, we need to identify the, the, the subject in order for you to use the, the verb correctly that agreement has to be um, improved. How? Pay attention. What subject you have and how are you using the verb? And then pronunciation things, which you already know how to fix it. Play, pause, repeat. That's it. Repetition. Now, um, if you want to learn like a baby, don't let people deceive you guys. In this place, we teach you like you would really do in, as a baby. That's, a, that's not even possible because you're not babies. Simple as that. You will have to born again and you will have to spend six or seven years of your life learning how to speak. So that's not fast. You gotta do it, you gotta repeat, you gotta do it, you gotta repeat. Vocabulary, repeat, vocabulary, repeat. That's it, mechanic. So um, guys, what we're gonna do is the following. Now that you know about your topic, you have already done the research, you're going to create something for e-commerce. If it's 3D, you're gonna, like the ones I told you, you're gonna be creating uh, uh, prodigies for animals, prodigies for poor people. If it's uh, the kiosk, then we have a kiosk where, where you can pay everything. You can pay Siman, you can pay La Cura, Sao, you can, and you don't have to go to a pharmacy to do it. You know, use your imagination, you got 15 minutes, and this is gonna be a three-minute presentation as well, three-minute presentation. So you're gonna cover, uh, explain, I'm gonna write it down, copy it, please. Explain your project. What need are you solving? What need are you solving? Um, when is it gonna be available? Make it up. Uh, and then miscellaneous, right? If you want to, this is not necessary, but if you want to improve, include price, color, you know, um, promotions, etc. Did you copy it? No, yet. All right. And the third one is available. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I corrected myself, my apologies. Available, that's a typo. As a recommendation, keep it simple. Do not try to invent cold water, guys. Keep it simple, okay? So what are you gonna do, guys? Make a presentation. Make a presentation about what? About 
3D for us. <laughs> uh -huh. So about a project of your topic. Okay, what are you going to answer in the presentation? Explain your, their project. Explain the project. What needs are, what needs are solving? What need are you solving? When it's going to be available. Uh -huh. And then miscellaneous, if you want to talk about colors, and price, promotion, if it's going to be ecologic, if it's going to be uh, environmental friendly, that's the right word, environmental friendly, pet friendly, uh, is it going to, you know, use your imagination, you got four, 10 minutes, please go ahead and accept the invite, I'm going to be visiting you. If you want to create a presentation, you can do it, just make sure that if you are sharing something, do not include, please, any third party video any third party image okay so no branding from other companies if you're going to create a presentation si van a sacar una hamburguesa que no sea del mcdonald's una hamburguesa así pelada cualquiera okay all right guys accept the invite see you at 9 45. oh uh sara who's your team you're out again uh, the last morena Morena, 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 yes, okay. the two beauty girls. Morena right. and Alison. Ernesto, who's your team? Well, I think he's got it already. Keep it simple, guys. Hey, what's up, Ernesto? You got disconnected. Yeah, sorry. My no, mistake. no, no, no worries. Don't, do not even apologize. Your group is Karen and Roxana, right? Yes. Okay. There's the invite. a brain. What? <laughs> I don't know what is our special. <laughs> so your face, Ernesto. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> what are you oh my God. create a, a, a live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are going to create a brain just to save lives, many lives. Okay. But what is your idea? Sky is the limit, guys. Sky is the limit. <laughs> did you hear me, teacher? Yes, I did. I and don't know, but Ernesto put a face like what? Yeah. Sky is the limit, guys. Remember, I mean, there's people who's throwing garbage. They could use that brain. So, um, you know, sky is the limit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's a, a good idea. That's a good idea. If you, if you want, we can. Do uh, I don't know the name. Protein cars. I don't know. <laughs> Sky is the limit, guys. It doesn't matter how impossible it is. If it's solving a need, then do it. Elon Musk wants to have Wi-Fi for the whole planet, so why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So what what did you say, Abner? Uh, okay, the name, the name of the project, uh, maybe repair your car. I don't know. Repairing cars. Okay, repairing cars. Seems like a good idea. Keep track of time, guys. You got until 9.45. Okay. okay. And they okay. Put it does the scanner and then. Okay, so the project, it will consist on an app um, that can make the body scan. Yeah, and you can send all that, all those 3D images to your nutritionist, right? Yes. <laughs> And then the nutrition or to a doctor, in general, a general doctor. I think yes. it could be in a, to a doctor. I'm I'm not sure if that would be okay. It can be uh for the uh for the the need that you have if you will um, if you're need to you need to go to the nutritionist or you need to go to the um, I don't know the <laughs> the other doctors. <laughs> um, nutritionist, cardiologist, cardiologist, gyne yes. gynecologist, I was, yeah, gynecologist. I was trying to say that, but <laughs> um, mm -hmm. so for for the the need that you you may have, um, and then well, uh, the need we are solving is that because of the pandemic, uh, we it's the recommendation is to to avoid like so like contact with other people you that had to do not go out and keep it keep yourself at home and uh, so that's the need like in the, the actual moment and then okay. when it's going to be available um, in two months months really <laughs> No, I'm not sure. <laughs> the color, the styles, and a pay in the kiosk. Only it finally to print it, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm what not, about uh, like in, in, the, in the government? We can, we can implement the self-service kiosk. Uh, for simple tasks, for example, getting a birth certificate, a death certificate, mm -hmm. um, um, marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a good idea. <laughs> That's a death certificate, certificate too. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, something like that, and, and you avoid first. Uh, you can uh, um, save time mm -hmm. for if you have if you yeah, have you a, a, a very tight schedule um, you save the, the human contact with another another persons mm -hmm. in this guy in this pandemic with situation. other with other people with other people okay and um, you can pay it through your credit card or your debit card, and you can print it, and you can print what you need. Sounds okay, good. so now... Are there people that have problems? <coughs> Or with money problems. Mm, okay. mm. I'm going to say you the my my tell you my student said mm. when somebody coughs coronavirus. <laughs> and, <all. laughs> and when is it going to be available? 
Okay. Since this is our product, we can say that it's already available. That we we started this idea uh, almost at the beginning of the quarantine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be. And to, um, I'm going to search. How do you say uh, uh, when somebody has agoraphobia or other <laughs> phobia like like I I I can't remember how do you say when somebody. Uh, is afraid to to afraid of. go let him in a view. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of that phobia. I'm going to have to do some research about it. I just say agoraphobia. I don't know agoraphobia. Agora. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Agar going to Google it, but in the meantime, continue. How do you okay. call a person who is... Mm, but if we are talking about the miscellaneous and about the specific price i think it it could be um, not much i suppose if we are yeah, oriented we for <coughs> which price should we set um mm, sorry to interrupt uh, it is also referred to fear of flying, flying anxiety, aerophobia. flying phobia, uh -huh. aviophobia, aerophobia, according to the internet. All right, continue, girls, you have two minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Maybe we should oh. set a small price just in Hello, my dear students. You have a face like I just interrupted something. Fine. Yeah, no worries. Everything is going to come out right. So, as you know, 9.45, time to take the last attendance of the class. Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera, not present. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. Thank you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba, not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. I see you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Ah, oh, I, I see your head. That's good. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Present. Ah, oh, there you are. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios, mencionado anteriormente, se retiró por motivos de salud. David Orlando Nerio, not present. Marcela Beatriz López Pira, present. I see you. Roxana Metilia Ríos de Quiñones, 
Present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Marino. Not present. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. Thank you, sir. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Thank you. <coughs> Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Present. Thank you. Karen Eilina García Benítez. Present. Sí, I see your screen. Sara Elizabeth Rosa Ortiz. Present. Okay, very good. So let's go with group number one. And guys, I have a surprise. We're going to have a, a short, like, voting, and we're going to choose which one, in your opinion, is going to be the best. In the meantime, breakout room one, Ernesto, Karen, Roxana, go. You got three. Who's going to be first? Uh, uh, me. Okay. You want. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our project is about, we are going to create a 3D printing brain. Because uh, when people have a tumor brain, they usually die because of that. Tumor. Because it's estimated that 8,020 adults die from cancerous brain and tumors. And the relative survival rate is only 5.1%. So the brain, it will cost one uh, eight thousand, eighteen thousand dollars for adults. It will be available on January 2021. And the name is 3D Printer Brain. Okay. Roxana. Okay. Um, we are solving a really um, a strong problem because when someone is diagnostic from brain tumors, diagnosed, the diagnosed of brain tumors, uh, the hospital, how do you say, for the hospital and the treatment goes around 600, no, 6,000 or 7,000 and with them um, per month. Mm -hmm. And with this uh, 3D brain printer, it's going to reduce their, the what? The money that they spent in the treatment. Okay, it's going to reduce the cost. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much, guys. Um, questions? Do you guys have any questions? Because that's actually very interesting. What is it? I understand that it's going to cost $18,000. Um, do you have credits or do you have to pay cash? Both. Both. All right. How much is the interest rate? Mm, just 1%. Oh, fantastic. So you really want to save lives and not make money. Um, when is it going to be available? In January 2021. Okay, January 21. Any other questions you might have, guys? We still have 17 seconds. No? Okay. Um, is it just be a private hospital or can I get it at ease too? Public and private hospital because we want to save life. life. Nice. That's very novel. That's very kind of you with humanity. You're like the vaccine. <laughs> mm -hmm, like that. Okay. Very good. Thank you, girls. I liked it. Girls and of course uh, Ernesto, which you do not fit in that category. Thank you, Ernesto. So um, let's go with um, Abner, Daniel, and uh, Gladys. Remember, we're gonna choose the best one. Go, guys. Abner, can you start? Okay. Yes. Okay. Our project is basically uh, from the virtual reality. Uh, the name is repair your car. Basically, you you only need when you when you need to repair your car, 
is, is very easy because you only need to connect your the scan to the car and after that after that you wear you the the glasses and the glove and after that you add then you add the deal and the brand the car and and you start to 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 to, to, to change the piece the car and you get the problem and and with virtual reality and okay, okay. and continue guys <laughs> oh, daniel okay uh, what needs we will be solving we will be able to solve the problems of the clients who have their damaged be vehicles with virtual reality 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 mm -hmm. when will it be available okay uh, this virtual reality glasses will be available in 20 2021 okay mm -hmm. ladies 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 Miscellaneous. Okay, miscellaneous. The price is in two thousand. Uh, glasses of different different colors and size, and and only only that only that. Okay, thank you very much. Do you guys have questions? Well, I do. Um, is this for? for any brand of cars? Yes, any brands. Okay. Lada, Honda, the, Lada Faro, the Russian Lada. Toyota, BMW. BMW, okay. <laughs> okay, so you can use it as many times as you want, I guess. You can use the it as many times as you want, I, I guess. Okay. Okay, the environment is friendly because all the people can use, uh, use for example, can use it, okay, mm -hmm. can use, can use. Uh, can use it. Okay, so okay. is this, so this is not only for mechanics then? No, it's an only uh, uh, whoever can use. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much. Round of applause, guys. Three minutes. Good job. And then let's go with... Andrea, Celia, and Marzella, go for it. Okay, hi. So the topic that we were talking before was the 3D body scanners. So our product, our project consists on an app that will help you to scan your body with your cell phone in order to send those 3D images to your doctor and avoid the human contact. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it Cell doc, cell phone doctor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. In that in that case, uh, we take um, or we base this project on um, example from cars scanners. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the app will scan. I mean, the person body and will analyze the images. Um, obviously, generate the images, analyze them and will mark and guide the doctor on where the problem or the issue can be. It will help to maybe find a faster solution mm -hmm. to know what the person can uh, have. And uh, it, will, it will be um, a little bit expensive. I mean, a little bit cheaper than uh, physical scanners because the app, everybody can download it and it will be for free. Then for free. We, yeah. Okay. We we were thinking uh, for this app because uh, of the pandemic. We are talking about that because of the situation. Um, the so you have <laughs> you have to 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 stay home and and avoid to go out of your house. So the need that, that we are solving 
-huh. is that you don't have to go and have contact with another person, in this case, the doctor, um, to evaluate your body. Instead of that, you can use this app and send these images to the doctor. Um, say, no, how do you say Verde? From, Depends. Depends. Um, from your house? Oh, from yeah, your from your house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and the, the app is going to be available in one month. So that's it. Okay, round of applause. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Good, good, good. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Come on. Fuck me up here. Don't let me die. I'm the only one asking questions. What's up? Okay, I have a question. In our presentation. Uh -huh. I have a question. So you mentioned that is that's going to be free, am I right? Yeah. Is it going to be available for just for Android or for uh, iOS too? Both. Or both. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> if it's going to be um, free, how are you going to, to found it? How are you going to get the money for that? We are going to, to um, how do you say, contratar? Hire. To hire some interns, some pas uh, uh, pasantes, like. Uh, uh, people who are doing internships. Yes, to do it for free. So they can have their their internship hours and we can have the free app. No more questions, Your Honor. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Round of applause. laughs> All right, um, we got Aldo, Eric, Juan, Rocket. I'm running already. Okay, as we were talking about the self-service kiosk, mm -hmm. our project is, is to develop a self-service kiosk for the city hall because we, we understand that some of us, we need to to get some certificates on the city halls and make some um, kind of stuff on the on the city hall, and perhaps we don't have the time or the or the 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 schedule or appointment. So, with this, we are going to solve the next needs. First, we will we will save time, as we as I said, for if we have a busy schedule, and in this pandemic times, we will save uh, or maintain the social separation with other people. Social distancing. Social distance. And uh, JC will, can. Okay. Uh, for example, the, 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 this kiosk will make uh, available to obtain beer certificate and other certificates in uh, that's located in, for example, in gas station, shopping center, supermarket, located near, near the user. Uh, and this uh, available from November 2020. Pretty soon. Yep. All right. Okay, so uh, continue with this uh, presentation. Let me tell you that this is an... Uh, an amazing tool that will allow people to get uh, what we need. For example, we have in order to avoid bureaucracy, because uh, we know that people doesn't uh, don't have a, a lot of time when you get a birth certificate or a death certificate or even a marriage certificate. So you can order this uh, kind of uh, uh, documents from the from the places that uh, my colleague before said. So it will be available in gas stations and uh, supermarkets, even in stores. And as you know, we are making a hard, hard, hard work that will be available in six months. And if you wanna, if you wanna get in simple paper, you're gonna pay, uh, for example, uh, $2. But if, if you wanna get it in colors on a special paper, we're gonna be charging with um, maybe a 10 or 15% more mm -hmm. and will be helpful mm -hmm. to those people that don't have time to go to the city hall in order to do these kind of things. Okay, very interesting. 
I'm not even going to ask if you have any questions because I'm sure you don't. So I do have a question. Um, I'm, making, I'm trying to make up the question. Give me a second. So what is your, your well, advantage against the city hall? Because now you can go to the city hall and it's always empty. Yeah, but in this time you you may you maintain your social distance with the with other people, and mm -hmm. you can may you can print your certificates on the same time, and you can at the pay same time. A, you can pay with your debit or your credit card. Um, uh, this is available twenty four hours. Ah, you got days. me right there. There you yeah. go. That's a good advantage. That's a good leverage. Okay, <laughs> satisfied. And last, as you know, but not least, Alison Morena and Sara. And guys, by the way, I forgot mentioning something. Whenever you use help, remember, it's going to help you. It's going to help her. You don't use two for that. Okay? Also, okay. avoid is okay. always going to be followed by Jaren. Avoid smoking. Avoid going out. Avoid sleeping in places that are not your house. I don't know, just making it up. So avoid close Jaren. And uh, who's gonna stay with me after the class for 10 minutes? Any kind of assistance, <clears throat> don't let me down. I need one volunteer or victim, the way you wanna say it. Okay, thank you, now I have it. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Okay, three, two, one, three minutes, go. Uh, we were talking about augmented reality. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, mm, our project are Dream Come True. That is the name. Uh, it makes a specific uh, room with different option destination in augmented reality. It is oriented for people with economy or health problems, or in this case for the pandemic prefers another options that they don't have exposed to coronavirus or if they don't like to travel but want to know other countries and have a nice and new experience. Okay. The needs we are solving with this uh, ER is that we are solving is problem for the people that's not able to go out uh, due to health problems, uh, money problems, or people that's, um, that's, for example, that's not able to go out because they are afraid to get in touch with another people. Afraid of getting in touch with other with, people. With other people. Uh, or travel by plane, train, or, or boat, in that case. And with people that can afford a vacation in another country. The inversion is, is $10,000 because we need uh, many money. A to, lot of money. Uh, a lot of money to have an uh, expert on creation um, and support software to ER. And we we know that it is going to be a great project because it is uh, is it has a great impact to the person mm -hmm. because everybody wanna wanna have a different way to fund and the generation of this time is really uh, familiar. How do you say familiar? Sal? Mm, familiarize the context is kind of familiar right uh, of this kind of software okay. uh, it's already available it seems almost since the quarantines began quarantine, and quarantine. it has a price at 25 dollars per hour and it also has a promotion at the for 15 dollars for uh, an hour, but this is for for members of, of the family. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Final applause. 
Good. Do you guys have any question? No? I do. Can I go anywhere? Yeah, you can. Whatever yes. you want. Whatever, where, wherever place you want. Everywhere. Everywhere you want. Everywhere you want. Uh -huh, Until tough. the hell. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. It's too hot. <laughs> Highway to hell. Yeah. Not and, here, not here. Uh -huh, and I'm living here. So, it's our soundtrack. Huh. You, you got to meet new places. All right, guys. So uh, which one yes. is your favorite? It's a new place. Which one is your favorite? Real quick. Um, the one for the brain. So the brain. Raise your hand if you vote for the brain. One, members of the group don't count, okay? So, one, two, three, four, four, all right. Uh, what about the app? We have I like apps. it, the I app, like it. The, the app for the cars? No, the, the oh. app from what? Don't, don't be so mean. <laughs> Okay, this, this the app that yeah, Marcela did for the doctor, the scan. <laughs> okay, I like that. And <laughs> what about wait, wait, what about the traveling thing? The last one, one. Okay, wow. well, you got one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what about the app that is going to be free? The health app, yeah, I like it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's a tie between the brain and the app. Now I see that you care about health. Thank you very much, guys, for always doing your best and sharing with the class. Hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care.
Hey, teacher. Hey, Sara, what's up? Sorry. No worries. All right, okay. so tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, let's do it, the accent. The accent. The accent. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to uh, aprovechar. I don't know how do you say aprovechar. Take advantage. Here, take I advantage. Take advantage. Voy a tomar ventaja. Take advantage. <laughs> okay. Do you yes. need Do you need help with any particular exercise from the test? Uh, the truth is that I I I didn't start to do the exam. I haven't because started. I I haven't started because I I was waiting because. I thought that it's important to finish the classes. But if you say that you can help, <laughs> I'm going to take the advantage. <laughs> okay, sure. Sorry. Let's go ahead and start. Again, I cannot give you any answer, the answer. but I can actually yes. guide you. That's no problem. Yes, yes, yes. No, don't, no, teacher, don't problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. No problem, no problem. Just wait me because i don't know why my ether ether ethernet is my internet me. my internet my ether, ether. so it's, it's gonna me. we're gonna go to section four did you finish all the all the homework sections no but no but my is because my ethernet my wi-fi is really slow i don't know why yeah, because no. it isn't it wasn't like this be before it happens definitely i i didn't have this problem okay. but and um no teacher, it's better uh you have me to <laughs> if you can help me to note other mistakes okay now in this one for example present perfect the one no lo he hecho um what you have to do is the following uh, present perfect is pretty much um not complicated but you do have to memorize the verbs in the past participle so present perfect let me give you the structure you're gonna have a lot of things but mainly you use to talk about your experience okay experience life experience that's it if you want to keep it simple life experience like in spanish it's like he ido he trabajado he comido ese ido right he comido he trabajado, hemos trabajado, han trabajado, all right? Mm -hmm. So pretty much something that started in the past and it mm -hmm. may, it continue up to the present and it may or may not continue in the past. From, from the first time that it happened, that's your present perfect. How are you gonna use mm -hmm. it? Make sure that you copy what I'm sending you because whenever you leave, this is gonna be disappeared. So it's going to be subject plus mm -hmm. have or has plus verb past participle plus complement. So how do you say he viajado? I have I have traveled. Travel. That's a regular verb. Okay. Yes. How do you tell me about experiences that you have had that not many people has? For example, I have lived in the countryside. I have lived in a mountain. Not many people have lived in a mountain. What about you? Mm -hmm. Dime cosas que has hecho que no mucha gente tenido esa experiencia de vida. <laughs> no, nothing illegal, okay? You know, you, you, <laughs> if it's illegal, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I, I was a, a really, really shy girl. Okay. If, uh, no creo que no me crea, pero bueno. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I have been. Mm. Uh, ah, no, okay. I have. I have been. Yes, you can. El pasado del I verbo. I have been. Uh, and then, and then the place. I say I have been an instructor of sign language. No. Yes. I want to learn that. We're gonna talk. Really? What yes. sign? No, no. Are I want. Are going to say me the bear on? I'm going to learn. Uh, I want to learn sign language. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You sent me a, a word on English. I'm going to <laughs> change and <laughs> translate. Okay. Okay, so I have been an 
a sign language, sign language instructor. Instructor, and here you you need to mention for how long. Ah, for three years. Three years. Excellent. Okay, so this is your experience. Now tell me something weird that you have eaten. Never eaten. That you have eaten. Oh, <laughs> I have eaten. I have eaten. Uh, Mm. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't have many ex culinary experience. <laughs> uh, I have been mm. careful with beans. Eat, ah, eat, eat cricket. Crick, how do you say grillo? Crickets. Crickets. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have been. I have eaten crickets. Cricket. I Ahí have está. eaten crickets. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's it. That's it. You're going to have the subject, the the auxiliary have or has for the third person. So with I, you, we, and they, you're gonna use have. And for he, she, it, you're gonna use has. Teacher, then you going to change when have, have been is the other, is the next level, I guess. Mm, no. Be careful. Be careful with okay. been. Why? Yes. Um, te lo voy a explicar así rapidito por el tiempo. El been sí, o lo ocupas como verbo principal, como ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero si tú lo ocupas como auxiliar, es como have been y tiene que ser con ing. I have uh -huh. been practicing. I uh -huh. have been dancing. Entonces uh -huh. uno es el present perfect de experiencia de vida y el otro es el present perfect continuous. Entonces uh -huh. tener mucho cuidado. haciendo? Ajá, cabal, yo he estado, I have been teaching for four hours now, in a row, right? So, <laughs> eso, he estado haciendo algo por un periodo de tiempo, o desde un punto en, en el pasado hasta ahorita, eso sí, continuo. Mm -hmm. Entonces, tened cuidado, tened mucho cuidado con el been, como mm -hmm. verbo normal, y como parte mm -hmm. del presente perfecto continuo. Mm -hmm. okay? ok, so, el negativo, I haven't. Sí. Y la pregunta, have you eaten? Have you danced? Etc. Uh -huh. ¿Contestas con el auxiliar? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. Alrighty, girl. So, um, as I mentioned before, thank you very much for staying. I know that this was brief, but I hope that I have cleared some doubt. You got to practice doubt. a lot. Okay. Yes. So, thank, thank you very you. much, Sarah. Have a good night, one. Night, Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Yay.